Okie dokie, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> lots of vids this last couple weeks. Been doing well with the uh, Series 1 stuff, for sure. Uh, I love it. I'm so, like, absolutely obsessed with it. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, yeah, I've just had some really good luck with it, so I've been doing a lot of Series 1. But, as always, I like to bring in some different things. And, you know, I love hockey. It's my one of my, my dearest loves. So, um, this was a really good deal. I snagged it for like $54 or something like that. I had to buy it. So, as always, like I show you in, in hockey videos, the outer seal here with that 7562 is important. That's a nice seal that you need to know. And then this guy back here is always something that you need to know just in case. I like to show that stuff on camera because if anything happens to any of these cards, if they're like we pull a PMG or something crazy, and you know it's got a ding in it you can send it back with the video and just say hey listen like i showed all the barcodes show the barcode inside and it's basically it speaks for itself it's all tracking stuff that they need so uh 6191 is the outer that logo like i said was that 7562 which is important one you know uh so then we're going to cut that open and here's all these fun cards. And like I said with the last video, that barcode on the back here, back here, is going to be here as well inside the box. So 6191, right. it's important that you have those information. So, you know, if anything were to happen to the box or whatever, now you have like video proof that, you know, the, the outer and the inner were the same thing, uh, that the box was sealed, you know, all that fun stuff. So, yeah. All right, God help us. Let's get something fun, shall we? These packs are always usually a pain in the dick. Um, if you don't like my language, I, I don't care. I don't have to appease you. All right, I was just telling somebody I liked uh, these designs better than the year, uh, pro the year after's designs. Um, so I will go through them and show you. Uh, the, this year's product, I believe, is just a little too hard to read. Uh, it's very, these are all metal kind of surfaced cards that are kind of have like a foil to them. Uh, so hence the name Metal Universe. Uh, what we're looking for here is not necessarily the auto, which doesn't fall one per box. It falls probably one every four boxes, something like that. But we're looking for a PMG. Uh, uh, those uh, are pretty much what we're looking for. Um, so... Uh, Let's see what we can do. So in this set as well, you will see a home and away jersey parallels. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, so there's a card that's flipped. So there's a Matthews. We have an Everly. Carlson, he's in everything. Oh, it looks like that's a McDavid, which is kind of cool. We have a Prospect, New Hook. And that's going to be the reverse. So McDavid's usual jersey is going to be blue. But this is the alternate jersey, like I was just talking to you about. So that's kind of cool. And it couldn't have come at a better time with uh, a good player. So that's a neat card. Like a, I wouldn't say it was a short print, but it's just a cool variation. They do a lot of, a lot of hockey stuff. You hear variations or variants, which is what you're going to be looking for. So... And we got a couple backwards cards, so we're going to go to the front. My man, Shesty, uh, Darlene, Bertuzzi, Sebastian Ajo. We have an amped up parallel or uh, insert. I'm going to take the Sebastian Ajo and put it on the front because we're going to flip that over. And we got an Alex Tuck with the <clears throat> alternate jersey and a Quinton Byfield, which is a nice little rookie. We like that. So we'll put the rookie over here. And I'd love to pull a, a pure metal uh, PMG here. All right, so we got Stutzel. It's another nice, it's not his rookie year, though. Uh, Stutzel, Kopitar, Hurdle, Felino. We've got a variation, Alex Newhook. Uh, these are the retros. You can see that metal foil across the jersey. It's really nice, super nice. We got Adam Fox, and it's going to be in his third uni. We've got a couple of those third uni, those third uni parallels. It's kind of cool.
Oh, there's Carol. Carol Kipristoff. All right. Try to do this without showing anybody anything back there. Okay. Carter Hart. That's not good. <laughs> not good, Carter. You got a Mitch Marner. Drew Doughty. So this is another thing that I don't understand. So they brought this 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 Metal Universe back, but they didn't do things that you should have done. So you know that this product has these raised edges and all this cool stuff. Why couldn't you get the printing right? It's so dark as it is. There should have been some kind of delineation with that. I, I just, my personal thoughts. Dawson Mercer, and then on the backs, we have a Hendrix LaPerriere, a rookie, non-numbered. But they're just things that I, I notice. We talk about all the time, like friends of mine that you know, are in the hobby. I talk about shit all the time. Like we were just talking about the Easter parallels and we're both like, why don't they do like spring training? Like instead of doing these Easter foils, which are kind of fun, now, I like this card. And I'm just saying like, why didn't they do like a spring training logo in the background? I mean, it's springtime. You don't have to do like, kind of getting gimmicky with the, the, the holiday cards like the easter parallels are kind of gimmicky because i mean most people aren't looking for like he was saying like most people aren't looking for like an umbrella and the umbrella is like to 10 it's like the sort of short print you don't want that you know um but just you know things that we're noticing around the hobby like this is this is light compared to this year's set is even darker you can barely read anything Brana. We got a dry saddle, like yeah, like why screw up that? You don't need to screw up him. Then we got a Lundquist who doesn't play for the Rangers anymore. We have a Colton or uh Colton or Ross Colton, excuse me, on the retro. You can tell because it's the retro on the back. Got that old school look to it. <clears throat> Alright, so the first stack is down. We didn't get too much. Uh, hoping for more here. Ooh, that's something interesting. I don't know what the fuck that is. But, hey now. Right, we're going to do an Anton Lundell. Uh, I don't know what that card is. I've never seen that. Or maybe I have. Is this a Jambalaya? Are we looking at a Jambalaya? That's one of the other fun inserts. Oh, we got a Rookie Auto. I'll take that all day long. Jake Neighbors, rookie auto. That's sick. It's a retro, I believe. Rookie retro auto. Yeah. PP. Jake Neighbors, pretty good. That is very nice. Kind of a cool. It's not numbered. The red foil. Yeah, red foil. Yeah, it's not numbered. That's crazy. I'll. Very cool. Nice clean autograph. It's a sticker auto, but still super nice. And like I said, the autos are not what you're looking for in this product, really. Uh, and they fall. I don't think they fall very. I don't think the odds are on the outside of this box. Let me look. Um, hold on. Autographs are 1 in 80. 1 in 80. Base parallel silver autographs, 1 in 100. Green autos to 10. Uh, silver auto parallel, green auto, gold. Base set rookie, silver auto tier. Tier 3, silver, silver, green. Retro purple shit. Red PMG parallel, nope, 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 those are all. Yeah, I'll have to do some looking into that because I can't really see on that. Got the Yankee game on in the background. So, I'm loving that baseball's coming back. Been doing a lot of baseball stuff. A lot of sales on baseball. Um, Jacob Bernard Docker, Mc, Mason McTavish. And Hellebuck, that's in a, a third jersey.
Oh, we're gonna get a cheese insert. Cheddar. These are dumb as fuck. The cheddar. Why Upper Deck did this? Whoever pitched this needs to get smacked. You know what, guys? What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make a uh, an insert. It's gonna look like a piece of cheese. The cheddar. Why? The cheddar. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm gonna say it too. I just I don't I don't quite get it. We got that Pavelski third jersey. This is a sick jersey. It it's like neon at night. They have like a blue light that they do. It's fucking like I forgot what Adidas called it. It's like a Luma Glow or something. I don't know. It's pretty neat what they do. It's gonna be one of those. Uh, it's like out of this planet or something. Tavares, yeah, Planet Metal, Patty Kane, Die Cut. They're kind of cool. Like this, these ones are cool. That's not cool. Alexis Lafreniere in his third jersey. We have a Matt Phillips rookie. There's one card sticking up in that pack. And I didn't want to break it. Got a die cut in there. Fucking stupid ass die cut. These cards are kind of the big, big, uh, what are these big? Big man on ice, that's what they're called. Yeah. I don't like that they did all those, but this is a fun set nonetheless. Okay. Fun set nonetheless. I'm trying not to know what the hell I'm doing there. But. Mark Andre Fleury, that's a cool ass card. That's a great looking card. The old school jerseys, Lafreniere. See, so yeah, the different cards on the set too. But Suzuki Stone, Sampo Ranta, and then Roman Yossi on the third jersey card. Got another, this is like one of those ice pick one. Metal picks, metal universe picks. I don't know why they did this with this set. I don't know what they were trying to do. To Foley, there's the McDavid other card. I told you it was blue. Suter, Atkinson, Addison. Makar on the retro. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's the third jersey one. Sorry, it looks different. Newly acquired Tim Anderson. That's Tim Anderson. Six. That's why you're with the Marlins. You suck. How many Nick Fortes autos do you have? I have seven. Just saying. Um, there's the Adam Fox extra. I like to keep them together. Amped up Kucherov. Dumba Vasilevsky. We got Lassie Thompson. Clayton. Another fucking big kahuna. Big man on ice. Yanni Gord. Hellebuck. There's the other Yanni Gord. <laughs> Practice jersey. Ference. Rookie. If that's a Kachuk Neon, I'm going to be pissed. I already have that one. <laughs> All right, Drew. Uh, 
We got Noah Hannafin. I believe that's the third uni. And then, oh, nice. Temi. Oh, man, our Temi. Well, that's going to be in the top order and sleeve because that's my boy. The bread man cometh. We know, keep him up. There we go, we know. You keep Temi up. You keep Temi up. Last pack, which is pretty pretty exciting because I'm excited that we got that autograph. That's pretty neat. I'm surprised we didn't get any numbered cards. There's usually like one or two. We got a Morgan Barron on the retro. Yeah, let me just see something. Let's check and see if there's any numbered cards. Because don't see that. So the numbered cards usually have a numbering like in here or down here. Um, just trying to see if there's anything. All right, as always, I like to show you guys and gals what's what you're buying. Maybe if you get uh, if you get an autograph, they just chuff you on all the uh the numbered cards there right, we got a bunch of inserts so i'm gonna go over those in a minute because god knows we all can't live without those um, these are all your rookies so got your rookies you got your short print or your uh third jersey or second jersey these are like inserts and retros and then Base cards, and then these stupid things. The Cheddar, Big Man on Ice, Clayton Keller. It's non-numbered. Uh, metal pick, uni Metal Universe picks, non-numbered. Big Man on Ice, Vasilevsky, non-numbered. Kaner, not numbered. Uh, but we did hit an autograph, so I can't really pitch too much. Got a, I think it's green. I think that's a green and it's got a red. I wish they would like give you, you yeah. So, but still it's very cool. Very nice. All right, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.